Hey YouTube, it's Adamx20. Um, I really, today I really tried to get the uh, the card tools out for my software, but um, I didn't get them done. I didn't. I wanted to push them out so that people could at least see what's going on, but they're not they're not done yet. You know, I really tried, but I had to get some sleep in. Um, I was up all night last night and. Um, so after lunch, I just kind of said, well, I'm too tired and took a nap and fell asleep for the rest of the day until supper. <laughs> so I'll be working on those tonight. And um, right now, they're just they're just really basic. And um, that's kind of cool. Um, I got it set up so that uh, drag and drop to the uh, card face or the the card back works um, files load um, but um, you know everything's just about done but I, I need to connect some buttons and uh, some drag and drop from the card set to the card deck and uh, yeah just about done just about done but um, yeah, I really tried, and I didn't get them done. Um, I don't know. You know, right now, I think I mentioned this last video. I don't remember. Um, right now, it's just a, a basic user interface for it. And um, what I hope in the future, probably in gnarly Necromancer, the next version, which is planned, um, I hope that the graphic user interface kind of does away with the the idea that the the software is using the game tree, but it'll still use the game tree. Um, I'm thinking of mimicking like uh, what you see on like a, uh, an Xbox game that uses cards, where if you hover over it, the card that you have your mouse hovered over will pop up to front. And then all the other cards beside it will kind of elevate too. They'll kind of become enlarged. Uh, so all that will be a gra uh, Q graphics view. But uh, that's not going to be in Pi's Palette. Not in the slightest. I just don't have the time. Um, I don't want to worry about all that extra coding right now. I'll just get the framework done. And then in uh, Gnarly Necromancer, I'll, I'll work on a lot of... Um, Graphic user interface interface spiffiness, um, adding new features to the graphic user interface and uh, polishing it up, making it look uh, a lot nicer. Because right now, people like it. I think it looks a little blocky. Um, it looks really basic. It's all using like uh, style sheets, which uses like a CSS format, but. Um, it's just, it's just really blocky to me. I'd like to streamline it, minimize the user interface. So stuff like that with the the card tools will be added, but uh, not right now. Um, so yeah, um, I guess that's about it. I I've just been working. I was playing Crimson Alliance again, and um, I'm kind of fed up with that game. Ten bucks, one character. It was fun. It uses a, a cards-based system for the for the play. And when I say cards-based system, I don't mean like it uses cards. Um, that's not not at all what I'm referring to. Like um, there's point-based system. Um, you know where you use points to buy attributes. You know you augment your character with a points buy system. Uh, there's like uh, skills, uh, a skills system where you use points to buy skills that augment your character. Um, what I'm talking about, like a card system, is where you have your basic character um, and then like the weapons act as cards. They, they're a lot like cards. They have um, a special feature and then they also augment your, your character's special abilities. Um, Dungeons and Dragons 4th Edition. <laughs> I, I mentioned that on Twitter. Dungeons and Dragons 4th Edition is a has a, a cards-based system with its utilities. 
like its utilities can um, it's you know it's not it's not just that the 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 weapons act as cards and they augment your character but like the the attacks um, would be as if you played a card and it had all its special rules and uh, you know it, it kind of is like a a card outside of the the um, the basic rules um, but the utilities in Dungeons and Dragons Fourth Edition is like a a card system cards based system other games use it um, I just I can't think of any that come to mind right now. I didn't do any research to try and prove my point, but there are other other game systems that use it. Uh, I wonder if I can think of one. Um, no. No. I guess Diablo is like a cards-based system, but it also has uh, um, XP, and uh, you can level up, and, uh, and then it has a points by system. Like the weapons would be a cards based system, and then uh, um, then you have a points by system. Um, so yeah, I had my fill of Crimson Alliance. <coughs> it's okay. It's just that it uses that entire system throughout the whole game. <coughs> I am pretty much done with it. I guess maybe I'll go back and hack and slash some Xbox Live. Maybe do a completionist thing with it, but man, ten bucks lasted a couple days. <laughs> Kinda <laughs> disappointed in that. But yeah, that's um that's about it for today. I gotta get back to work and get this cars tool system done. I wonder if maybe I could have it done in a couple hours. I don't know. Oh well. Bye YouTube. See you tomorrow.